The first time you make something up, I think, is the best time it's ever going to happen. That first melody idea, if you lose that or you forget that, you miss something. It's a different guitar. It's just going to sound different. Right. Different yeah. shape. It's going to sound different. This is Unison Studios. This is my third record with Unison, both with Bruce and Ryan. It's very comfortable, very easygoing, laid back. It's me, Matt Lanat on drums, who's been with me for 12 years. Essentially, there's a, a duo of producers. Um, there's Ryan Dorn, um, who is more the engineer side. And then Bruce, who is producing, but is also playing bass on this album. I'm always writing songs. Even during the last album, I was writing other songs that didn't fit into that album. And then for the last year or whatever, I've been just writing songs and penning different ideas. This one's not a concept album. It's not a narrative, it's, it's songs. And I'm trying to make each and every song kind of as unique and poignant or emotional or scary as they could be. The initial process is essentially just me coming in and, and singing them as many song ideas that I have that I think are, are worthy. And a lot of them are, are incomplete, you know, and the majority of them are. So it's just these, you know, verse chorus or, you know, and a bunch of zibbity zow and gibberish, um, but with some rough ideas of what the songs can be. And that's kind of the beginning of it. And I got another more, a jam, not a jam, but a different, hear that. A different one. I thought I would be like. A lot of the time, it's just gibberish. It's like uh, I'll come up with a chord progression, I'll come up with something, a feeling, and I'll just start playing and singing kind of at the same time. And um, it's all stream of consciousness. It's almost as blank as I can be the better something will be, it seems. And it seems almost that first time, that initial time of inspiration or that initial time you first write that song and that first melody always seems to be the right choice, at least for me. I often record them, you know, so I'll record them on my phone or whatever. Yeah, that one's not even. This is it. I thought it sounds a little bit like um, stunt driver. Stunt driver. A lot of it is just the matter of going back and figuring out what. Like, what, what was that? What was that about, even? Like, I don't even know what it's about when I'm just making stuff up and kind of, um, you know, everything's just off off the top of my head. I can isolate the, the cool thing I said or the one thing I said, like, that I think is interesting or has some kind of merit or worth, and then build the song off that one little thing. But it's just finding those little diamonds that, oh, that, what was that, you know, what does that even mean? And then you can, you know, elaborate on it. Get my first guitar till I was about 19 or 20. So um, the beginning of my musical kind of mind was all listening, you know. And I grew up on country music. My, my, me and my family we go to country music concerts, and that's all we really listen to in the house. By the time I was 15, 16 years old, I'd probably been to 30 or 40 country music concerts. And then I got to high school and started listening to punk rock, you know, almost exclusively almost at, at a fault to like just starting listening to like hardcore stuff. But even at that point I didn't play guitar either. And then I got my first guitar and then we started, I started a band like in six months or something like that. And then just wrote these really primitive songs.
Fuck yeah, powerful fucking song, dude. Yeah, it's coming together. As a songwriter, it's the same kind of stream of consciousness thing that I'm, it, it's there, like I'm, I have a vague idea of what I want to say, but it's just lucky. I mean, it's these lucky diamonds that you know, I don't know where they come from. That's a jam right there. It's pretty sensitive. Love song.